And so when you face that struggle with someone who, say for instance, it is Caucasian, you don't want to be taught by them because you, you have this idea that the white man's going to do this and that. But no, people are scared of that. But we need teachers who are willing to take, who are willing to reach, meet us halfway. If you're not going to meet us halfway, we're not going to meet you at all. That's how the youth is. So we, when, we, when we take the further step, we're still, we're still young. We need resources. I think when we talk about the importance of teachers of color, we need to let people hear from the youth why that's important. Just saying it, I mean, there's proof that students do better. And some would argue Jim Crow, when they did the desegregation, there's a really good author, a female uh, African-American author, who said it almost did more damage because at least at that time, students of color were in schools with teachers of color that cared about them, mm -hmm. loved them. Yeah. So they weren't saying we want to be mixed. What they're saying is we need equal access to good schools, good funds. Then what you did is you pulled those kids out of those schools and put them in schools with teachers who didn't care. Who didn't want them to didn't be there. Didn't want them there. So some have argued, look, it did so this question is, of those teachers that you knew of that you could relate to because of those reasons, how many of them are still in the schools? Um, I can only remember one because I've only, I've only had one teacher that I remember from at least elementary school that was of color. Her name was Miss Matthews. She wasn't even an academic teacher. She was an arts teacher. Like, my calling is the arts. I get that. But when you have someone who's in an elective who cares more than you than your academics teacher, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Thing is that I only remember Miss Matthews, like she's the only person I remember, or Miss or Miss Rodriguez. You know, it's sad, and even it's not—it's not even just a culture or a racial gap; it's a gender gap as well. Because you see all these female teachers, and no, no young men has any person to look up to. But their female teachers. There's nothing wrong with that, but why isn't it there? It should be an option. Um, me personally, if I've had. A generally good relationship because um, our officer, Mr. Henry, he works here with us, and he's very close. He asks you questions about how's your day going, what's going on, forth and forth. But I feel like it's where the cops are at. Like the cops here, our little station department, they care about us because they've been through it. They've lived here. Now, if I were to go to the courtroom. Like this happened to me before. I was in court helping my friend because she got into some sort of altercation with somebody and she needed an eyewitness. And there was this, my friend was like, <sighs> like she just gasped. And then a police officer said, looked at her and said, shut up, very rudely. Like even though you are, if you are of a person of the law, you still need, you still need to be rude with, with respect. Like if I was just like, <sighs> like really? Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the golden rule. She always tell you want to be treated. And if an adult can't can't even comprehend that, right. where are we going as a society? Where are we moving towards as a people and as an educa and, and, and as education? Like this is a struggle that we deal with every day. And to some people it may seem so minor, but it's so big to us because this is our future and we're trying to change that.